single one of us who both dreams and creates things faces voices of dissent, both from people that we know, from people that we don't know, and very often the most deadly comes from within. And if we don't take a thoughtful, conscious approach to taking on our unrealistic dreams, they just ain't gonna happen. I want you to fend off negativity as much as humanly possible. You know, we know so much more about the brain than we did just 20 years ago. Neuroscience has taught us incredible things, like that our brains are continuously shaped by our thoughts and our experiences. And you know this to be true. I mean, negativity is one of the most toxic forces on the planet. It's toxic for your brain, for your nervous system, and for your ability to stay motivated. So do me this favor, okay? Do not solicit or listen to the opinions of people who are notorious for just being Debbie Downers. The one mistake that I've seen people make consistently is they almost habitually talk to the exact person who is the most likely to shoot them down and make them feel like crap. So don't do that. And here's another key. I want you to always, always, always consider the source. Meaning, don't put a lot of stock into other people's opinions unless they're actually out there consistently taking risks and being brave and actually making things happen. I mean, if you think about it, let's say, I don't know, you wanted to climb Mount Everest. Would you ever take advice from someone who's never even attempted the summit? No, of course not. That would be crazy. So don't take advice from anyone unless you really think it through. And I want you to ask, has this person achieved an unrealistic or impossible dream? Are they taking meaningful risks on a consistent basis? Do you admire who they are, how they live, and what they contribute? If not, do not use them as a sounding board for your idea. The people you hang with are keeping you where you are. The people you are spending all this time with, we, we've, you've heard it before. You've heard it before that you are a product of the five people you spend the most time with. It's true. If you're hanging out with people who are negative, who are toxic, who are telling you you can't do it, who are finding all the reasons why you are not gonna win, then guess what, you're gonna believe it. This is why I think lack of belief is the world's number one problem. The mission that I am on for the rest of my life that I will never accomplish <laughs> is to help people believe in themselves more. To understand that you have Michael Jordan level genius at something and you have to find it you have to believe in it. You got to chase it down and then take consistent action towards it. And most people in your life are not cheering you on like that. And that's a problem. Your current environment has been designed specifically to keep you where you are. Uh, maybe not to keep you down, but to keep you where you are. And if you want to change, 